Welcome back. The Ruth First Memorial Lecture has concluded in Johannesburg. The lecture marks 40 years since journalist and SACP leader Ruth First was assassinated by the apartheid regime. SACP General Secretary Solima Paila gave the keynote address. And let's go live now to ENCA's Slindelo Masikane, who was listening in on that. And Slindelo, the apt uh, commemoration and celebration of one of the, you know, understated giants and icons of our uh, struggle for liberation and freedom in South Africa. And today, Solima Paela reflecting on the life of activist and academic and writer Ruth First. Certainly so. Today was a day not only just to honor uh, Ruth First to last, but also to highlight the scourge of gender-based violence in this country. We know the impact that the work of Ruth First had in terms of uh, the struggle for liberation. And I think uh, what the SACP was really trying to do today was not only um, honor her, but also bring to the fore many of the issues, the socioeconomic conditions in which South Africans are living under, um, one of which is the fact that women just simply don't feel safe in their own country. But I am joined by the newly elected General Secretary who gave the uh, keynote address. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon, Mr. Mabaila. Maybe just take us through um, what our viewers may have missed in your speech in terms of what the SACP believes needs to happen, not only to transform uh, the lives of South Africans in terms of their socioeconomic conditions, but to make women feel safe in their own country. Yeah, the main message, we're firstly celebrating the life and times of uh, Comrade Ruth First, who used to lead the Communist Party and uh, uh, our Young Communist League, and was killed by the apartheid hit squad um, through um, a, a, let, a parcel bomb in Mozambique at the uh, University of uh, Eduardo Montane, uh, Montane, where she was uh, in the Center for African Studies. Uh, the message, because the 40th anniversary, since her uh, assassination, that brutal assassination, was to reflect on the state of South Africa's um, uh, economic situation. For instance, the crisis that we face, the multiple crises that we face, or crises, uh, crisis of uh, gender-based violence and femicide in our communities, crisis of food insecurity, crisis of unemployment, crisis of energy, crisis of crime. And we are saying all of this should be the num number one priorities in, the, in their uh, uh, aggregate form for South Africa today, and that even the political parties, even those in parliament, all of them, not only just the, the African National Congress, but all parliament parliamentarians should seize themselves with resolving this major crisis that, that are facing uh, our people. So it is in this regard that we felt that in an honor, given a contribution in a multifaceted way, in the trade union movement, in the women's movement, uh, in the international, uh, working with, doing with, uh, work, doing a lot of good work with uh, farm workers and everything else, reflected actually the crisis that some of the crises that we face, although at an exponential level, and therefore that it was uh, perhaps uh, important to honour uh, in that regard. You know, some critics would say, Mr. Mabaila, that uh, the SACP's continued support for the ANC, which continues to seemingly fail South Africans um, in um, getting them out um, of these uh, socioeconomic conditions and the, level, and the high levels of crime. Uh, one would ask, then, why does the SACP then not advocate for uh, a change when it comes to our leaders in government? Well, we have called for different interventions, programmatic interventions, not uh, personalities. And programmatic interventions, for instance, is about ditching or doing away with a neoliberal economic system that has imposed austerity measures which were welcomed by business in this country, which today cries about the conditions that we face as if they didn't call for them, because the austerity measures uh, could not fund the police could not fund development because there's no profit in funding uh, uh, development per se, social services. That's what austerity measures uh, uh, are basically about. So that's the source, the primary source. So if, for instance, you talk, uh, like in this case, uh, 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 Minister of uh, 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 Police, if the, 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 the Treasury can resource and fund the police, uh, it doesn't matter how many people you change in that particular position. The system will continue. So it's a deflection. 
The real problem is the capitalist system and the budgeting system that follows not only the, 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 follows the, the European system, the IMF, the World Bank and all ECD countries, and not follow the local condition, the situation facing the people in our country. That's where the, 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 the first main challenge is. And it is in this regard that we have articulated alternatives as the SACP. But if you look into many of these other parties, they have never put a, a, a tangible solutions on the ground. That is why we are saying to our comrades, our structures, as we are building, from a, 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 as agreed by our Congress, to build a socialist movement of the workers and poor in our communities. We are saying we must own up our streets, reset up street committees, block committees, uh, area committees, to protect them, and not only from a, a, a crime perspective, but also to deal with other alternatives or sustainable livelihood in the context of these issues that we have, not, we, we, we have difficulties and problems with. The issues that government still has to play a role, we still uh, call on government to play a role. For instance, at the moment, the provision of uh, electricity in African communities, which is interrupted, uh, interrupted continuously, uh, without the, uh, the following the schedule that we are about. There's a uh, constant load reduction of 48 hours that is imposed, no discussions with communities. ESCOM just, just decides on that and doesn't even go and talk to the communities and so forth. So all of these acute problems that we have identified facing our, our people, we are saying we are taking responsibility to respond to them, including responsibility for community involvement in employment creation, in economic ownership. We are setting up uh, uh, community shops, working with the community for the communities, not SACP in, uh, in, uh, structures or institutions, is to create that possibility for the community to know they can be self-reliant. We are just activa an activator in that particular process. Lastly then, I know there's a national shutdown um, that's been planned for later on this week. As the SACP, will you be supporting it? We will be supporting the COSATO uh, 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 strike on, the, um, uh, on Wednesday against the high cost of living because we believe that the inflation uh, is too high in this country, the poor cannot afford and the Reserve Bank continues to use instruments that cannot that protect big business. I mean, when, you, when the people cannot afford anything and you raise high in, 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 uh, interest rates, you raise interest rates, you are actually making it more difficult for them to further afford and yet the interest rate, the function of the interest rate is that people cannot borrow more. You are, you are trying to, 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 to dissuade them from borrowing more. But for the poor who are surviving on a daily basis, who are on the survivalist mode, uh, uh, borrowing more it doesn't exist. They, they have nothing. So the little that they have is spent on food, uh, 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 transport, and all of that. And the Reserve Bank has not been helpful in that regard. That is why we've also emphasized the critical role of the Reserve Bank in job creation, by the way, and also in creating low, lower interest rates as well as differentiated interest rate across various sectors of our economy. Not have a one-size-fits-all kind of interest rate for big business, even uh, uh, for, for small business or SMMEs and cooperatives in communities. Thank you very much. All right, that is the General Secretary of the SACP, Tulos. They're just giving us uh, some of uh, his sentiments around uh, what needs to happen uh, moving forward, but also just summarizing his address here at the uh, Communist Party's first uh, inaugural Ruth First Memorial Lecture. We understand that this is just the first of many to come. All right. Thank you for that. That's ENCA's Linda Lomasikane there with that update and that conversation with the SACP General Secretary Solima Paila.